Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with me by hitting that subscription button and also the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. I want to thank every single one of you for your beautiful comments, of course, and your, you know, your um, support on everything. My goodness, my words couldn't come out um, in the groups. Thank you so much, everyone. I also would like to mention that I did create a few days ago um, a crochet group. Uh, it will be on the description box below. If you want to be part of my group, then go ahead, just click there. Just make sure that you do have a profile on your Facebook or else you will not be accepted. It's a private group and I don't want scammers and spammers to be coming on there. Like most of the groups nowadays are full of them and they're taking over those groups. And for those reasons, I am moving myself slowly um, out of the groups and just, you know, concentrate on my own group. So you're welcome to be part of it. It will be a pleasure to have you there. Thank you so much. I also want to mention up top, there's three little buttons. You can click there to slow down the video to the speed you'd like in case I'm too fast for you. In the description box, there is a little two minute tutorial on how you can do that by slowing down the video and also to turn your closed caption on so you can pause, take notes of the stitches that I'm calling out. So I want to thank you again for your patience on this because I know sometimes I can uh, be too fast ahead of my game and I'm just a fast crocheter and I apologize for that. It's just a habit I have for so many years. That's why it's always good if you cannot keep up. You can slow down to, um, you know, the speed that you desire. We're going to use a four ply 100% cotton thread. These are Portuguese brands. And hook number 3.5, a small one to tuck in loose ends, and a pair of scissors. I also have my um, crochet page below on the description box. You can follow me there. My Instagram is there, my TikTok is there. And I also have an account for PayPal to help the people, the women in need of yarn or thread that they cannot afford to buy. I will mention this on every video because it's important that we can all pitch in and help out. Any amount is appreciated and very grateful for whatever you can donate to help these women out so I can buy the thread, send them out to them. If you have overstock on thread or yarn and you want to send it out yourself, please feel free to message me on the Instagram below or my um, uh, page, my crochet page. And um, I can give you their address and their name privately. We don't want to expose them in the media. Too many crazy people out there. So I'll be more than happy to give you their address and you can ship it to them yourself. So I want to thank every single one of you again. Please give it always thumbs up on the video. It's very important to have the video recognized. And the only way it can be recognized and circulating worldwide is by giving those thumbs up, by making a comment. And it also helps if you watch the commercials. I know sometimes it could be a pain on you know where, but it's important for us because this is the only way that we can uh, amount a little bit of earnings from these commercials when they're being watched they give us like i don't know maybe like two bucks 250 for for each commercial that you watch and that helps out because we do spend a lot of money on threads and time consuming and creating these pieces i can't even count how many hours i i do um nearly every day to come up with patterns and to create to do tutorials to add it to upload to launch it so it's you know, it's a lot of hours into it. And of course, anything helps at this point. Thank you so much. We are going to create, you guys are really like in high demand of pineapples. I think the whole world's in love with pineapple, um, tablecloths, doilies, you name it. So we're going to create another one, not like my uh, pineapple table runner I just launched yesterday. This one will be sort of like a square one okay because sometimes people ask you know there's a lot of round or a lot of uh just uh long ones can can you come up with a square one so we're going to create a square one i had started with the yellow one as you see behind but i ran out of thread and i couldn't finish it up but 
no problem. We'll do the tutorial. So I'm just almost done, but it couldn't complete. Let me just put it this way. So this is how it's going to be. This is the middle piece here. And then, of course, we have to add the other side. But I ran out of thread uh, to complete this side or even start the other side. But no problem. We'll just go ahead. I'll put the picture up. Once it's done, I'll be putting pictures up as I'm editing the video throughout the tutorial so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about. So we're going to get started, people. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Please feel free to share my videos on your Facebook public. It does help for other people to recognize my channel. Thank you so much, everyone. Well, the first thing you want to do is make that magic circle. Now, for some of you, you still have a hard time doing it, which is very simple. If you don't know how to turn it on your hand, just make it like like a little knot, as if you were going to tie, a, you know, make a knot, a shoelace or something. So, just make a little knot here, like that. Come inside. Bring your thread over and chain one, two, three. This equals a double crochet. We're going to do 15 more. We're going to have a total of 16 double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. We've done the 16 double crochet. Pull into your magic. If you still can't do it, then do a chain four and close it. We're going to come into the third space here and close it with a slip stitch. And I want one, two, three for double crochet and one more for turning into the next space. Double crochet. One chain separation into the next space. Another double crochet. We're going to do this 16 times all the way around. So row two, double crochet, one chain, double crochet, one per space, and one chain separation. Going into row three, one, two, three, four and five, three for double crochet, two for turning into the next double crochet with a double crochet, two chain separation, next double crochet with a double crochet. So we're going to repeat the same thing. The only difference is this time is two chain separation. I'll meet you at the end. Going into row one, two, three, four. So now we're going to come in the center of both spaces there with a single two, three chain. We're going to do, um, let me just see here a second before I get lost. We're going to go into the next space and do a triple chain two, three, into the same space with a triple incomplete and into the next space triple so we're making V's two chain separation we're going to do incomplete again into the next space and triple and complete again. Close it all together. Two chain. Now remembering that if your stitch is too tight, then do a three chain separation. So incomplete. And now we close it together. Two chain again in the same space. Incomplete. Into the next space and close it all together. So you're creating like these V's. So I'll meet you at the end. So I'm reaching the end and we only had started with the 
single and three chains, right? So now I have my incomplete. I'm just going to come in where I have the one triple. Close it here, two chain, and I'm going to come and close it right at the edge between them so we can create that V. Okay, now it looks like a little hard at the beginning, but on the next rows it's going to start stretching out. So we're going to come into the center of the V, single, two chain. We're going to create groups of two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet on the same space into the next group or next V, two double crochet, two chain separation, and two more double crochet. We're going to repeat this all the way around, row five. Okay. Okay, so I'm on my last one. Now, because we just added this row, if you straighten it out, it's supposed to be flat. If it doesn't stay flat, that means your previous row, instead of doing two chain, you have to do three. You got to give it enough loosage or else it's going to crumple up together, okay? So, so we continue on. I'm going to come here on my last chain and I call it the walk. So I'm going to walk to the center of the group. and a single, two chain, that equals a double crochet, another double crochet, two chain, and two more on the same space. Just like that. I just want to look at my pattern here that I had created, just to make sure that I'm not losing, losing anything out. Okay, so this next row is not different from the previous row. So it's going to be all uh, groups inside of the middle here, the same thing as we just did. This time we're doing one or two chain separation for some of you to give it that loosage so it doesn't tighten it up. Creating the groups again of two double crochet, two chain separation, and two double crochet. I'm doing one chain, but if I feel that it's pulling, I'm going to do two chain separation in between the groups, okay? So just to let you know. So we're going to continue on doing group over group. Nothing is different than the previous row. The only difference is this time we're doing a chain separation, but if you're too tight, then do two chain separation. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. This is row one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm on my last one. I did my one chain separation. I'm coming on the third space here with a slip stitch. I'm going to do the walk with a slip stitch to the center with a single. Two chain that equals double crochet. So we're doing the group here again. Two chain separation and two more double crochet. Now two chain separation coming into the next space. We're going to create twelve double crochets. This will be the beginning, the first row of the pineapple. We're going to have two pineapples on one side and two on the other. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, 
in case you want it to go smaller after you create this one and you want to make the same one but smaller all you have to do is cut down on the pineapple here so we have 12 you can do only 10 or 8 or 6 depending upon the size you would like your pattern chain 2 we're coming into the next one and creating the group again of two double crochet, two chain separation, and two more double crochet. Two chain separation. Coming to the next one, we're creating the ten, uh, 12 double crochets. Remember I told you we're going to have two pineapples on one side and two pineapples on the other. Everything we're creating here on one side we need to create the same thing on this side so three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve So just make sure you have the same amount or you're going to have a problem at the end. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Now, chain 2 again. We are going to create 5 space of groups. So what does that mean? group here group here group here group here and group here five times so two double crochet two chain separation and two double crochet chain two again the groups two double crochet two chain separation and two double crochet to chain separation between groups and create your groups again. We're going to do two more. We're going to have a total of five groups on this side and we're going to have five groups on this side. So now that we created five groups of the double crochet one two three four and five we're going to do the 12 double crochet so basically we're going to repeat here what we just did here five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 double crochets just like that chain two we're doing one group of double crochet in between the pineapples so two double crochet two chain separation and two double crochet on the same space exactly like we did here to chain separation and create your 12 double crochets six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve now make sure you count them to make sure that they're right or you're going to have a problem at the end. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Chain 2. Now we're going to create the 5 groups again of the double crochet exactly like we did on the other side. So 2 double crochet, 2 chain separation. Two double crochet again, two chain separation, and so on. So I'm going to continue mine, and I'll come back to you as soon as I'm done the five groups. Okay. 
Okay. Going into row eight. So because we had started the one group before the pineapple, we had only four groups left to do. I've closed in with a slip stitch. I did my walk into the center and I created my group. Chain two, coming on top of the double crochet of the pineapple with double crochet. Separation one chain, double crochet. Separation one chain. So basically we're doing the 12 double crochets like we did on the previous row. Separated by one chain. And then we're going to come and create the group. We're going to have two chain separation. And then we're going to do the same thing as we're doing here to this one here. Okay. So I've done my 12 double crochets separated by one chain. Two chain separation. Create my group of two double crochet, two chain separation, and two more double crochet on the same space. Two chain, and come back and create the same thing as we just did to the other pineapple. One double crochet, one chain, double crochet, one chain, and we're going to repeat it like that. And then I'll meet you here at the the groups. So I've done my 12. Chain 2. Let's see if I don't have too much lighting on here or else it whitens up. So I'm going to do the group two times. That means here and here. And on the middle one of the five, because we have five groups, remember? So on the third one here, which is the middle, coming from this side or this side, we're going to do it a little bit different. We have to increase. So two, chain, and two more double crochet. Two chain, come into the next group, create your group. Two chain separation. Now in here on the third one, the third group, we're going to do two double crochet, two chain separation. Two more double crochet and two more double crochet separated by two chains. So now this time we're going to have three in the middle. Don't worry if it's a little bit cracked up as you go. It's going to stretch out. So three double crochets, uh, three groups of three double crochets. And then we continue on remembering that we have to do the same thing here. So we have one, two on your third, which is the middle one. We have to do three like this one because it's the other side of the pineapple. Two chain separation, create your group, normal group, and we're going to repeat the same thing as we just finished doing. Create the group, two chain coming into the first one. Double crochet, one chain separation, double crochet, one chain separation. So we're going to repeat the same thing as we just did on the other side. Okay. So I'll meet you here in the middle because it's a repeat now. Nothing changes exactly what we did here. We did a 12 double crochets separated by one chain. We're going to do two chain. We're going to do our group, two chain. 12 double crochets separated by one chain. Do our group, do our group, and then on the third one, we're going to repeat exactly like we did here. Okay, 
So I just did my group. I did my two chain, I did my group, two chain, my group, two chain, and my three groups on the third group, which is the center one. And then I'm going to continue to do my last group here. And close it in on the last one. Going to the center, do your walk with a slip stitch, a single, and two chains. So we're going into row nine. Create your group. Stays the same, nothing changes here. Chain two. Actually, chain three, sorry. Now we're gonna start to form here the pineapple. Chain three, next space. Chain three, next space with a single, they're all singles. Chain three. We're going to do this until the last one, and then chain three, and then our group again on this side. So, did my little loops for the pineapple, chain three, creating my group, and then doing again chain three and create the loops for the pineapple again so coming into the center between both double crochet three chain just like that and then continue on and then I'll meet you at the groups. So basically, we're just going to create groups to chain separation. If your stitch is too tight, then do three. Where we have the three here, we're going to create a group here, two chain separation, and another group. So I'll meet you there. So I'm right in the center where we have those three groups. Let's see if I can take out a bit of lighting here and create our group, two double crochet, two chain separation, and two more double crochet on the same space. Chain two, and create another group on the next one. Now we're increasing. And two chain separation and continue to create our group. So basically what we just finished doing on this side, we're gonna create the same thing. So you have to do the same thing as you did here. Create your loops, your group here in the center with separation of two chain, and your loops Or was it three chain? I believe it's three chain, sorry. And your loops, and then three chain, and then here on these ones, two chain. Then create your groups, and come back and do the same thing on this side. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we're still doing the groups. And we're going to repeat the same thing here, like here, as I mentioned. So chain three, and two between the double crochets, chain three, and repeat everything like we did on the other side. Remember you, when you're using thicker yarn or thicker thread, everything comes bigger.
this is a four ply so it's small the yellow one that I was doing it was a six ply so it was huge okay everyone so pretty much did the same thing on this side as I did on this side with the two groups so we are one two three four five six seven eight nine going into row ten so you're going to do your group you're going to close in of course first with a slip stitch walk do your group chain three and continue your pineapple loops chain three singles and I'll meet you here at the end okay so I've done my loops I've done my uh, chain three this will be the last row for the round shape here okay so I'm going to do my regular group here right after the pineapple loops okay and chain three continue your loops here on the next pineapple chain three and then we're going to do normal group here and then I'll come back to you on this group after we finish doing the loops here chain three all the way chain three here and then the group so I finished doing my group we're going to do chain two come into the next group we're going to close out the group by doing two double crochets one two three four and five chain coming back in to the first one here where we closed out with a slip stitch so we're doing sort of like picot without being a picot two three four five come back in to the same one slip stitch one two three four five chain come back into the same one slip stitch and now we're going to continue to do the two double crochets to complete the group chain two we're going to do this four times into four groups okay so two double crochet one two three four and five come back into the first one here slip stitch one two three four five come back in slip stitch one two three four five come back in and slip stitch and complete the group with two double crochets so now we have the second one we're going to do two more one and two not the last one we're going to leave the same thing as we did the normal group here so we're going to just add these on two more in between two chain so nothing changes on that in case you got confused one two three four and five slip stitch one two three four and five and why do I do slip stitch and not a single because I want it to be closed in I don't want to have an opening if you close it in with a single it's going to leave a gap it's going to leave an opening to it chain two and we're going to continue to do again the loop the five chain loop one two three four and five slip stitch one two three four and five chain five slip stitch and close out the group chain two and this one will be a regular group 
So we're not doing any loops on this one here. Because this is part of the pineapple loining upwards. Okay, so chain three, continue your loops. And you're going to repeat the same thing as we just finished doing on this side. We're going to do it on this side. So you're going to not do the loops on the first one here. You're going to do the loops on the four here. We already have the first one created with no loop. So I'll meet you at the end. So now we're going into row 11. So row 11 on. Let me just count to make sure that it's right. It, lo it all looks crumpled up, but it will all get fixed once the pineapple starts forming shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So from here on, that means from this uh, group to the next group, obviously, you can see we have the loops for the finished round. So from these two groups, from the two pineapples, we're going to work back and forth until the end of the pineapple. So no more going around. So you got to do this side and then whatever we do on this side, you have to do on this side, which is very simple. Either you look in your pattern or you just rewind and continue the same thing as we've been doing. So just rewind the video. So slip stitch, we're going to create the group. Here, one, two, two double crochet, two chain separation, two more double crochet, and three chain for the loops. So nothing to it. We're just going to create the same thing, create our group here in the center of between the two pineapples. Chain three, do the loops, and do our group here. Okay, so nothing changes. Just going to work back and forth on this for about two, three rows. So I'm just going to continue my loops and come back to you. Okay, so we started the group. We did chain three. We did the uh, pineapple. Now in the center here between the pineapples, we're going to add two more double crochet on the same space. We need to increase in order to widen it up. From the pineapple. So we're going to have three groups of two double crochet. Chain three and continue to do your pineapple. And then you get to the end and you do your three chain and your group. So I'll meet you here at the end. So I've reached the end. We're going to turn around. And we'll repeat the group. One, two. So you close in, you do the walk with a slip stitch, and you create your group. So nothing changes. Chain three. Going into the pineapple, creating the pineapple. Chain three and into the pineapple. So I'll meet you here on the middle of the three groups we did. So we are here in the middle of the three groups of three that we did. We're going to create a regular group as we've been doing on the same space. So two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet on the same space. Chain two and create another group on the next one. So two double crochet, two chain separation and two more double crochet. Chain three and into the next pineapple. So it's going to look like this. Okay. And then we're going to do the pineapple, the three chain, the group. We're going to come up, turn around, do the group, three chain, continue the pineapple. And I'll meet you back here on the other side. 
of these groups because everything else stays the same. Okay, so we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let me just verify to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're on row 13. So I'm in the center where we created the two groups. And we're going to create uh, the groups again. The only difference is that we're going to create in here the group. In the middle here between the, the groups here. One group and one group there. Okay. So two double crochet, two chain. Two double crochet, two chain. In the center here of the two groups, we're going to create a group. Two double crochet, two chain. Two double crochet again. Two chain. And another group. So two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet, and there you go. So now we have three groups of the two double crochet with two chain separation and two chain separation between them. If you find it's too loose your chain, you can do only one chain separation, okay? Everything else stays the same. So chain three, we do the pineapple. Come back here, chain three, we do the group, turn around, do the group, chain three again, continue the pineapple, and I'll meet you back here again. So row 14, I've done my group, my pineapple, my three chain, I'm coming in. I'm doing my group. Chain two, I'm coming into the center one, and I'm going to do three groups of, of two double crochet separated by two chain. So I have two, two chain again, and two more double crochet. Okay, just like that. To chain and continue your group as normal and then the three chain then the pineapple then three chain and then your group at the end so you're going to continue to do yours okay so you're going to continue to do your pineapple your three chain your group turn around come back to your pineapple your three chain to your group, I'll meet you here at the other side. Okay, so, so basically we have one, two, three, four loops on the pineapple. Chain three, coming into the first one here, create the group. Chain two, create the two double crochet. Chain two, create the next group. Chain two, two double crochet. So basically you're creating, same thing as we did here, we're doing here, creating groups. Chain two and create your group again. Do your chain three and create your loops on the pineapple. One, two, and three. And you're supposed to have four loops on this side once you're done. So continue on, create your group, turn around, come back, do your pineapple, do your chain three, and I'll meet you here on the other side. So I've turned around, I've done my group, I've done chain three, chain three for the pineapple, chain three here, and done my group again, and I'm just coming into this. So chain two, I'm gonna create a group here, chain two, I'm gonna create a group here, chain two, I'm gonna create a group here, chain two, and then create your last group. Now, if you see if it's starting to pull too much on the ones here, especially, um, this is chain three. If it starts pulling too much, then just 
add another chain. Chain two, I'm coming into the next group and doing my group. We're almost at the end, people. As you can see, there's only three um, loops for the pineapple to close out the pineapple. Whoops. I'm coming in to the center. Chain two. So I'm creating my group here in the center. Chain two, creating my group here again. Chain two, two double crochets. So now I have my three groups here in the center. Chain two, coming into my normal group as usual, nothing special. Create your two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet, and chain three for the pineapple. So continue yours all the way to the end. Same thing, chain three, chain three, group, turn around, repeat, and I'll meet you here at the other side. So going into row 17, I haven't even been keeping track of the rows. Can you imagine that? Three. So we are at the groups. We're going to do one group here. And do a group per center in the center of the groups. So do the group here. Chain two into the next group with the group. Chain two into the next group with the group. Chain two and into the last group with the group. Now, like I said, if you find it's pulling too much, like here on the chains that I've done two, you can do three in order for it not to be pulling too much. So we're going to continue again with the pineapple, the group at the end. We're going to turn around and then I'll meet you back at the groups here on the other side of row 18. We're at still row 17. I had made a mistake. I only did uh, two double crochets and I forgot to complete the groups. I had to come back and take it down. No biggie. I uh, just want to uh, clear with you. So we have one, two, three, four, five groups of double crochet. Okay, just to make sure this is row 17. And I'm going to continue and then come back to you on row 18. So row 18 so i came back did my group did my three chain i have one loop left for the for the pineapple did my group again chain two i'm coming into the center here i'm doing my group so you're going to have your um two groups, okay, and then on the middle one here, chain two, in the middle we're going to create three groups of two double crochet, and this is the before last row, so two more chain, so we have the three groups of three double crochet. Chain two and complete your other two groups. Do your pineapple, do your group at the end, turn around and then come back here to the groups and we're almost there people. One more row left, actually two
And the last group here after the pineapple. So, just slide it down. So you remember it was crumpling up a lot, right? Look how nice and flat it becomes. Once you complete the pineapples, it all goes back into place. Okay, so now we're going to... Okay, everyone. So last row, row 19. So I've turned around. Now, just to let you see i completed the other side already so you can have an idea what we're doing or what we have done so this is the row 19 we're going to do the same thing as we did here on the sides the five chain we're going to do the three chain into the last loop three chain the group the five chain then five chain five chain and complete the group okay so very simple so row 19, last row. So I did my two groups, not two groups, my two double crochets. Chain five, three, four, five, come back. Slip stitch, chain five again. Come back in the same space, slip stitch. Chain five again. Now you can just do the B card if you want. And I'm going to come back and complete my group. Just like that. I'm going to do chain three, one, two, and three. And this is the last loop. Come in with a single one, two, and three. Come back and create your groups again with the five chain. One, two, three, four, and five. Come back into the first one, slip. One, two, three, four, and five. Come back into the first one again, slip stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Come back into the first one again, and close off your group with two double crochets. Okay, so now here we're going to do one chain, come into the center here with a single. One chain, come back into the group and create your groups. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And come back and complete the group with two double crochets. Okay, and then chain one into the center here with a single. So basically, oops, one chain only. This is it for this tutorial. Very simple. So you're going to create again your group and your chains, one, two, three, four, and five. So nothing to it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Come back into the group and finish your two double crochets. Now come directly into the next one. And just create again your five chain and you're pretty much done after that. So we'll have the pictures at the end and display. And I'm going to iron this out, make it nice and flat and straight. And to give you an idea, so it's pretty much what it looks like at the end. Okay, so we are here now on this one. And then you're going to... I guess I didn't, um, I made a mistake here. I did the 
the single here and I forgot to do it here I'll just go back and do the single so go ahead and just continue to do your singles here okay thank you so much everybody don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video and until next time bye bye everyone